Welcome to session four of configuring your RMS system. In this topic, we will take you through the RMS recommended settings for adding chart tariffs. There are two ways to access the tariff availability chart. The first is using the shortcut button found under the top navigation bar. The second is by selecting charts from the top navigation bar then selecting Tariff Availability Chart. When adding tariffs into this chart for the first time, you will be presented with the question shown now on screen, requesting if you would like to add tariff types now. Select Yes to continue. You will now be taken directly to the Add Tariff Type screen. When entering your tariff types, it is important to note that you do not require one for every category or tariff that you wish to enter. One tariff type can be linked to many categories and tariffs. The only time you will need to add a second tariff type into your RMS system is if you wish to run two separate tariffs for the same time for the same category. An example of this would be a tariff type named rack rate being your normal everyday tariff. A second tariff type named online special being a different tariff to display for your online bookings. Select add at the bottom of the screen. Enter a description for your tariff type. For this example, we will use the name rack rate. This is the minimum information that you require to save a new tariff type. Other options on this screen that you may wish to take advantage of at this time are Tariff Charge Description. This is the description of the tariff charge when it is applied to a reservation account. You may wish to change this to Accommodation. Tariff Availability. This section allows you to apply rules to the tariff type including what day of the week a guest must arrive to be eligible for this tariff type. Or you may choose to apply a minimum or maximum number of nights stay for this tariff type. To learn more about tariff types, Choose Help in the top right corner of the screen or click once on the title Tariff Types in the Knowledge Base for a complete breakdown of this feature. Once you have entered the relevant information, select Save, Exit. That brings us to the end of the topic, Adding Tariff Types. We will now move on to Topic 2 of Session 4, Adding the Tariff.